In a eukaryotic cell, the construction of ribosomes begins in the nucleolus, a specific region of the cell nucleus. The whole cascade-like process starts by transcription at the ribosomal DNA gene locus catalyzed by the RNA polymerase 1. First, the 5' end of the pre-ribosomal RNA, called the 5' ETS, emerges from the gene locus depicted here in yellow. The 5' ETS RNA carries specific recognition motifs that recruit the first specific ribosome assembly factors, such as the UTPA and UTPB modules and the U3 SNOW RNP. Subsequently, up to 70 different additional biogenesis factors, also called 90S factors, and many ribosomal proteins are recruited to form the entire 90S pre-ribosome. Overall, this myriad of assembly factors forms a mold or scaffold which facilitates the modification, folding, and three-dimensional arrangement of the pre-ribosomal RNA. At a certain point, the extra sequence, the 5' ETS RNA, depicted in yellow, has to be removed. This starts by RNA cleavage at a position A0 within the 5' ETS, followed by removal of the 5' ETS from the 3' to the 5' direction by a universal RNA degrading machine, the nuclear exosome. Another important rRNA processing step is the RNA cleavage at position A1 and A2, which separates the 90S particle from the emerging nascent 25S RNA, here in blue. After these processing steps, the 90S particle can start to become dismantled so that at the end the primordial pre-40S ribosome is generated. During these reactions, the rRNA gets further compacted and late nuclear biogenesis and nuclear transport factors are recruited, which finally enable the export of the pre-40S ribosome through the nuclear pore complex into the cytoplasm. After arrival in the cytoplasm, the final maturation of the pre-40S subunit is initiated. This begins with the extraction of the remaining biogenesis factors, further RNA compaction and rearrangement, and incorporation of the last missing ribosomal proteins. A final RNA cleavage, called the D-site cleavage, releases the still-attached piece of the ITS-1 from the mature 18S rRNA. This is triggered by joining of the mature 60S subunit to the pre-40S, which activates the bound knob one endonuclease to make this decisive cut, so that the mature 18S rRNA within the 40S subunit is formed. This mature 40S subunit is now ready to fulfill its role in translation.